Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And of course, it's exciting today because of the new arc as it usually is. And that's why I decided that quickly before I have a meeting to this afternoon still, I want to make a video on the new Gorn hostiles. I mentioned them in my um, midday video that I quickly made about the announcement Scopely made, but the Gorn are available early. And so I quickly want to talk about them and I want to talk about what they bring, what they are connected to, but also how to fight them. But before I do that, I quickly want to say if you haven't seen that when I have the time to do so, there will be a pinned comment under my video today after my meeting when I'm back home. And there's information about subscribing, commenting, how to get access to my Discord server, and how to support the work of my STFC channels. So if you want to have a look, then have a look out. This pinned comment is under every video as soon as I can. But now let's have a look at the new Gorn Hostiles. In my preview on the announcement, I talked about their immunity to standard damage and uh, their isolated damage they are causing. And so I was quite worried. After they appeared, after the maintenance and after I could try them, I quickly found that they are not that difficult as I um, have feared. They're not the easiest ones, so I, I don't do um, level 58, 59 as well as some other hostiles. But you can do that. But you find, first of all, the Gorn in uh, three different places. There is one next to the Romulan deep space. And here you will find the hostiles from level 40 to level 49. And you see my ship is in the 49 space at the moment. And then you find one next to Federation deep space with Drowman and everything. Those are the levels 51, 53, 56 and 60. And uh, if you are even higher level, next to the Klingons, if I remember where that was, here we are, there is systems level 61 plus. You see that I don't have access to them because I'm not level 61. And so those paths are still locked for me. But for those players 61 and over, the um, systems are between the 61 Federation space and the uh, normal outer outer space of the Romulans. But let's go back to the easier ones um, so that all players know where to start. And I quickly go send my ship already to the level 40 system because that is the lowest system um, that I've seen where you can find Gorn. I might be blind, but uh, Those were the worms. But uh, the color helped me f find the system so far yet. And this uh, different kind of nebula you see around the systems now. But the Gorn, as I said in the preview, as Scopely announced, are immune to standard damage. And they are immune to something else they didn't mention in the announcement. If we click on one, you see there are three abilities. One of them is an ablative shield. And uh, they have that for about 20,000 days. Um, the ship cannot be targeted by a bore cutting beam while the status is active. And you see there's uh, 19,938 days and six hours left for that. The second one is the isolytic mall. And that means the isolytic damage is increased by 100%. And all piercing stats are increased by 500%. So they are a stronger enemy already by that. And the third one is another one of those problems. The ship ability of isolytic vulnerability. It can only take isolytic damage. It cannot be targeted by the Borg cube cutting beam anyway. So I'm quite um, wondering what the ablative shield is about when it already has as, as a ship ability that it cannot be hit by the Borg cutting beam. But nevertheless, it can only take isolytic damage. So you will not be able to hit them with standard damage. And everyone will now try to go for the isolytic crew they can find and uh, 
try to beat them somehow. Of course, I'm on my way here with a north cut at the moment, and that in a level 40 system. But I want to show you one thing on a level 40 ship. By the way, keep an eye on the battle triangle that really uh, also works on those. I tested that in the 49 system and in the 51 system. And um, combat triangle seems to make sense here as well with the Gorn. But let's um, just destroy one and have a quick look in the battle protocol because it was easy I didn't have the damage I have is mostly from some 49ers they deal isolytic damage and why ever uh, they deal standard damage but nevertheless uh, yeah, they they do deal standard damage but they are better with isolytic damage than other ships but the point is um, which I don't understand here. Okay, when I, when I hit much uh, weaker ones, obviously it's broken. Um, to show the proper stuff, I better take one of the 49ers. Um, here, let's take this one. Because the 40s seem to be broken. I, I, I cause standard damage on the 40s, why ever. But here you see it. Um, oh no, it mitigates it. Nevertheless, my north cut deals 3 million standard damage on the first one and the Acrocanth mitigates 3 million standard damage. So it takes no damage from my standard damage. But it deals isolytic damage. And you see that the isolytic damage does the trick here. But the trick with the isolytic damage as well is um, not only to look for the isolytic damage. Uh, that was what, what I was saying earlier. You have to look for your crew for isolytic damage, but also for critical damage. Because you see that the isolytic damage also becomes much higher when you deal critical damage. And that's what my officers do here and that's why I use on the bridge Picard as uh, captain I do that because I want more loot we talk about the loot in a second but he also uh, causes isolytic damage and then I use him with enterprise e data for the isolytic reason and for synergy and I use um, Janeway also for the isolytic damage. And below deck, which you um, can't see here, but you saw it in the battle protocol, I'm using Enterprise E Troy and U for more critical damage. Enterprise E Troy already has that, and uh, U triggered at some point here, um, and he increases critical uh, chances as well and with the critical hits whenever I hit it with critical I cause much more isolytic damage than usual you see the normal um, isolytic damage was one and uh, one and a half million almost and the critical isolytic damage is more than seven million on my ship and so you have to see that on your ship as well the normal um, or the, the smallest um, Gorn hostiles are about 6 million in uh, power and here you just need to, to uh, get down the 6 million and you see that it uh, mitigates my normal damage again but not the isolytic damage but then already um, we got to the point where my critical kicks in again and then it's much easier to destroy them and they're gone. I On any kind of uh, Gorn I tested I always needed two rounds um, to kill them up to level 49 with my 111 million uh, north cut and above that I needed more rounds and more rounds mean more damage to your own ship and uh, so you have to figure out which ones you can take if you can take more than 40 balance it so that you still are in the two round section um, so that you on one tour can can just kill a lot of hostiles with the 49ers I do I can easily get 
all the loot I need for all the exchanges I need in two tours. So the grinding is not as bad as I, I feared. But let's talk about the loot. There's new loot here, and that is volatile isometer. And that is used, as you see, in the, they say isolytic refinery, but it says um, isometer refinery. And someone is attacking that ship, so it's gone. And um, on level 40, you just get 10 of those. On level 49, it's 50, but because of Picard and the, the combinations with, with research and everything, I get 100 per Gorn. And I will only quickly show you the refinery, not go into every detail, because I... It's a new refinery, so I'll definitely also make a refinery video. But down there, right above the Enterprise NX-01, there's now the Isometer refinery. That's what I meant when I said they wrote Isolytic, but here it's called Isometer. And here you need the volatile Isometer, and you can exchange it for three different things. And here it's, it is ops depending. And so you see I'm ops 53 to 55, so what you see here um, you can see because of my ops. And uh, let me know the differences for you, please, um, if you see something different, different on a different ops level. For once, I can exchange those isometers for officer shards. And this is, in this case, Enterprise E officers, um, Voyager officers, and uh, yeah, Enterprise E officers and Voyager officers. And then I have an exchange for artifact pieces. And those is a mixture of the normal artifacts we knew and the, the new temporal artifacts. Um, and it will definitely also depend on, on my ops, I guess. And so you see that like the borrowed time crystal is in here, etc. And um, the guardian of forever. So I can get more shards for, for artifacts here. And there is a resource or, or material upgrade, but it also includes faction credits. For me, it's uh, about a thousand faction credits or 300 uh, independent credits. It's five star materials, officer XP, ship XP, speed ups for repair and speed ups for building. And uh, of course, um, if you are on a lower level, you will have. Uh, I'm quite sure you will have four star materials there, not five star. That's why it says Ops 53 to 55. But that was just a quick tour through the refinery so to complete the, the loop. So you go to the system you can beat, and 40 SSC at least is, is the lowest system you can go to. And then you collect the, the isometer from this by destroying the Gorn and you see I've got a thousand at the moment on board already again and um, then you go to the refinery and exchange it for either officer shards artifact pieces or resources I will later after event change do the exchanges and then I will see unfortunately if it I can do all three of them I will easily have that stuff collected until then just a few minutes more and I will have that and then um, I can see the cooldown time that's the only thing I cannot tell you now because I don't want to do it before event change in case as usual there's an event later um, that says spend volatile isometer that's why I don't want to spend it before event change and um, but I still quickly wanted to give you that video to show you um, what to think about when you attack the Gorn. So do a combination of isolytic and critical officers. That's the, the most important part here. And uh, as I said, if you have the same officers with Picard, Enterprise E Data and uh, Janeway, and then with Enterprise E Troy and you below deck, I only have two slots below deck uh, with my North Cut at the moment. That's why I don't have more officers uh, below deck that count. But those are the ones really decisive for my big isolytic damage and for um, the critical damage. And you need a combination of both. Because the critical does increase, of course, your isolytic damage. And so just isolytic damage, you will have to fight, I, I think you have to fight many more rounds. If you can 
uh, combine your isolytic damage with critical damage, then uh, you will need less rounds to kill one of the Gorns if your critical um, kicks in. I hope for a very early kickstart video on the Gorn, I could give you um, a little help with it and uh, that you can can manage to to attack them. Of course, I will do more tests on the long run, but I think when everything starts with, with a new hostile, everybody wants to go after them. And uh, that is what I could test so far. I tested a few crews and that's what I'm doing best with. And so I always need two rounds for, for um, most of the Gorn here um, to beat them. So that's why I suggest try out that crew if you have them. Otherwise, really have a look for your critical and isolytic officers and keep an eye on your, your isolytic artifacts, by the way. If you want to add something about the Gorn, if you have done some tests as well already, please uh, write it in the comments. It's very early to make this video, so I'm very happy about every other opinion coming in. Uh, but as usual, if you have uh, questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read your comments. And you know, in the next days, I will make videos on all the different parts of the new stuff that's coming in tonight. So um, don't worry, I will talk about all of that. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.